Hi folks, welcome back to another Teardown Tuesday. Today we're looking at something a little different. This is an immersion element. And it's an element that's designed to be submerged in water and heat the water up for like a steam table or what you might call a bain-marie in some markets. So let's take a look at it here and then we're gonna to try to open it up. First couple things to notice, it's got some details on the actual cover here. They've engraved in some wattage, some brand. We, we can see it's a 5,000 watt heating element and it's kind of hard to see, but it's 240 volt. And you can see that the laser engraving also has the patent number on it and the phasing there. It looks like it's single phase. We have a similar engraving back here on the back of the element. 5,000 watt, 240 volt, single phase, has a patent number. So there's a seal gasket back here, and the way this would be installed is it'd be in the bottom of a pan, and that seal gasket would keep the water in the pan above the element. And then we have our electrical connections back on this side. And when we take a look at what's going on here, you can see we've got a number of different wires coming out. Looks like we've got six wires and they're hooked up in a couple different configurations. You can see they've been labeled. So we've got heater wire, another heater wire, and then we've got a thermostat connection and another thermostat connection. So let's start with Trying to get this junction box off so that we have a little more room to work. All right, so we got that out of the way. Here's our gasket. And you can see the way this is put together, they've got a plate here They've got a tube, they've got a little connection here. It's all been welded. So there is no real way to service this. It's either working or it's not. So how are we gonna open it? Well, we've got a couple different things we can try. My first thought was to take a pipe cutter, and try and open it up. Now if that doesn't work, if our pipe cutter here can't make it happen, I do have a bandsaw, I have a cutoff wheel, I have some other tools here that I can try and run it through, but let's just try and open up the metal casing on it first and see what, what we find. So we've cut through the end here. Is there some kind of thermal reflector? A little insulator, I guess. And then it looks like the inside of this is actually filled with sand. So it had a big ceramic element in here. And the ceramic element has heating wire woven through it. And then the center was filled with sand. So it almost looks like almost looks like what you would see inside a hair dryer. You 
can see the little insulated wire. So that wire has some resistance to it and when you run a voltage to it, the resistance combined with the voltage creates heat. The wire gets hot. Then we transfer that heat into this ceramic which is up against the, the metal tube, looks like. Interesting. So looking at the way it's put together, you can see it's a, had an end cap welded on. So it looks like the way they put it together, they actually slide, slide the assembly in and weld it shut once it's in there. And that seals it up. So there we've actually pulled out an entire run and you can see it actually melted off. You can see it melted off right there at the end. So the failure point on this is somewhere, somewhere back in towards the center here. Let's try pulling out a couple more strands and see if we find anything here. Yeah, so that one's not broken. You can see it's all coiled up in here. As they change the wattage for a given heating element, the thing they're really changing is how much of this wire is inside the, uh, the heating element assembly. But you can see there's quite a bit of it in here. I, th I don't know that we can go a whole lot further with this, but I just want to point out real quick here that this heating wire is pretty common in a lot of different styles of elements. And if you cut apart different styles of elements, you would find this inside, coiled up in this same fashion. This particular element just happens to be so big that they end up filling it with sand. But if you pulled apart a cal rod, like a standard cal rod heating element, you would find something very similar inside it. I am wondering though where the actual thermostat is. So I've taken a grinder and run a, a cut all the way lengthwise on both sides. And I want to try and split this open now and see what it looks like on the inside. So let's see if we can get it opened up. Unfortunately, we've made a bit of a mess here, but 
on the upside, you should be able to see what's inside. So most of the ceramic at this point has broken just from trying to get it apart. Ah, but there's our old friend the thermal disc. So the thermostat wires are actually wired to this thermal disc. It looks like that thermal disc has some heat transfer systems. And that way it can sense the temperature of the skin on the element here. You can see there's just a huge amount of sand in here. even before I cracked it all apart. Here's the other set of elements down on the other end of the system here. There's the connections. Interesting. All right. Well, I don't think there's too much else we can get from this one. I have quite a bit of mess to clean up now. All right. Thanks for watching. Hi, folks. My name is Jack Kell, and I'm a senior technical trainer for SmartCare. The video you've just watched is part of a larger series of technical training videos we make available to our technicians at SmartCare. If you found this interesting and you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll be releasing a new component teardown video every Tuesday in 2022. If you're already a SmartCare technician and you have a part that you'd like to see me tear down, please reach out to me internally for shipping instructions. If you're not a SmartCare technician, but you or someone you know would like to learn more about a career as a service technician specializing in commercial restaurant equipment, please check out our open positions at www.smartcaresolutions.com forward slash careers. Thanks for watching.